Genie, thank you for wanting to come and speak on my channel. Sure, bro. So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? All right, so, it's your boy Genie. Um, I'll talk about how I became spiritual, because that's mm -hmm. when, like, low-key, that's when life low-key actually started, bro. I feel like before I became spiritual, like, I was kind of just, like, walking around unconscious. Gotta have conscious moments, but, like, man, when I think back, like, I became spiritual at, like, 15 like 14 15 mm -hmm. and life before that is kind of a little bit like a blur like there's only like certain key moments i remember i swear to god the way it happened was because like all my life i've always kind of like questioned like oh like is there a god is there a higher power at some point in my life i would have considered myself christian more like when i was like i would say from like being a kid all the way up until maybe like eighth Ray, I don't know, somewhere around there. <laughs> Seventh, eighth grade, probably when I stopped saying I was Christian. But I will always say that because I'm like, you know what? I believe in some kind of a higher power and I don't know anything else besides Christianity. So, hey, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm, but like, yeah. but like, yeah, as I grew older, I just was like, I just questioned that a lot, especially because like I would have certain stuff happen. I'm like, damn, if God was real, why did he let this happen? Mm -hmm, it's not making mm -hmm, no sense. For sure. I've had a so, lot too. Yeah, right. So with that being said, I actually have a, a Christian friend, and I'll call him, uh, I'll call him Zaire. Mm -hmm. No, him no. Zaire. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and, um, my friend Zaire, he's actually, yeah, he's a, he's an actual Christian, and his dad's a pastor, too, so mm -hmm. I would always tease him, like, yo, bro, God's not real, bro, you know God's not real, right? I would, and I would always ask him certain questions that he don't got the answer to. He's like, just ask my dad, bro. I'm like, nah, <laughs> just... I'm trying to ask you for real. <laughs> I'm trying to ask you for real, but, um, mm -hmm. yeah, he never had no answers for me, right? So, mm -hmm. at that point, I'm like, yeah, bro, I defeated this argument god's not real at this point it was probably like fresh it was fresh year eyes so i was uh i was 14 yeah but then it was just this one day like and i didn't realize it at the time but i was actually um you know what i'm saying I, I was i had before this experience i had um and taken some of that miss mary jane if you will you know what i'm saying so with that being said i was in that you know i was in that um elevated state and i didn't peep it at the time but like i was just thinking in my head like i'm looking around i'm like yo this creation can't be random. Like, how does this just happen randomly? You know what I'm saying? Maybe there is some kind of higher power. I kind of just got on my knees mm -hmm. and I looked at my hands and I looked around. And that's where I'm like, okay, bro. Yeah, something did this shit. So the very <laughs> next day, I'm in um, I'm in a class called Computer Science, right? And I'm just on the computer. I'm like, you know what, God? If you're real, show me your side. And I got that side in a very weird way. After school, okay. I went to a friend's house. I, I went to a friend's house to, t to intake that Miss Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. And... It was the same friend? No. <laughs> uh, no, it was a different friend. <laughs> okay. It would be weird. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it would be weird. But yeah, it was a different friend, you know? And okay, this is yeah. the kind of friend where it's like, we go there, we play video games, we bump music, and that's it. This man was playing some 50 Amazing Facts that day. Now, <laughs> I wish y'all could know who this person is, because if y'all see this, you'd be like, bro, why is he watching this video? Like, he is not that kind of guy at all he just bumps that randomly one day right this is the only time he's ever done that so he hasn't done he, has, he hasn't done this before this experience or after this experience mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying playing this video and at some point they said that jesus christ was real like they had proof for that shit or something like that now i just let that shit go by you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. at yeah. some point everything was everything was rolled up i started you know i'm hitting that john i'm like hold the fuck up did i just watch a video and they said jesus christ was actually real so at that <laughs> point i'm like okay whether that's actually true or not at, at this point period of my life all i know is christianity so i'm like i didn't take at face value like oh jesus christ might have actually been real finding out I've, I've done more research he actually was an actual person you know what i'm saying which i didn't even want to accept that at some point to be honest people mm -hmm. be getting on me for, for saying that he's an actual person <laughs> y'all don't understand i'm not i'm not the steve i did it i tried to disprove it so many times then i kept seeing more proof then aliens told me, and then other people who talk to aliens, they say the same thing that the aliens said. I'm like, God damn, I can't get away from this shit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, anyway, I'm like, word, okay, bro, I'll take that as a sign that you're trying to work inside my life. But I ain't gonna fully take that. I need one more sign. So I lost I lost this one jacket, uh, like, about a week ago from this experience, right? I couldn't find that shit. It was blowing me, right? I'm like, yo, God, if you're real, help me find my jacket. Bro, when I got to the crib that day, I saw an image inside my head of exactly where it was and exactly how it looked, bro. It was inside of my shed, laying on my chair in a certain kind of way. I go inside my shed, it's exactly like this, bro. <laughs> it's the damn. exact same image I saw in my head. I'm like, damn. Okay, that's... There really is something to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? And I've realized over time, right, it's kind of like, whether you want to call it God, source, whatever, right? Yeah. I understand that reality really is kind of like a dream. Like, when you <laughs> when you set out to get certain, like, if you say, I want this inside my life, or I want to see this, right? 
life actually does respond to you because mm -hmm. life is intelligent as well. Like people don't understand that even atoms, right? Bro, atoms are intelligent. How? Atom, I mean, intelligence means the ability to know and act out that knowledge. Bro, atoms, right, are able to know, like for example, with oxygen, right? Oxygen knows that it's around hydrogen and it knows how to bond with it and act out that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It may not be conscious. It may not say, oh yeah, I'm oxygen and I'm currently bonding with hydrogen, but it still has the intelligence. It still has the knowledge in order to do that. Just even if it's not conscious of its own intelligence, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, all of reality is built upon intelligence, literally. So when you think a thought, you're literally impressing your own intelligence on the intelligence outside. You're literally impressing your own intelligence upon the intelligence that's all around you. And life does respond to that. So that's the reason why when I asked all the, when I asked for all these signs, I would get my signs. And man, I was a big sign guy. I would always ask for signs after this point, you know what I'm saying fast forward to when i'm 15 i start meditating bro and then that shit is what really changed my life that was a big change in my life and then after that it was studying egyptian mythology that shit like studying, studying egyptian mythology and practicing yoga that was like the final fucking that was like the final thing that really just set me on my spiritual path fully like i was already spiritual before the whole egyptian shit when i was 15 meditating but like actually understanding certain spiritual concepts and actually having more spiritual experiences happened a lot i started studying that i mean i was leaving my body before that but then i got fucking scared because the witch scared me so i stopped leaving my body mm -hmm. but i was able to get over all that shit by pressing the egyptian shit because with it with egyptian philosophy theology and mythology right pretty much with these deities you study these different deities or just aspects of yourself or different aspects of the universe now at some point you did have certain beings that will come down and say hey i'm this goddess hey i'm this god but that's deception that's why a lot of places fell at because they started worshiping spirits instead of worshiping uh these higher intelligences that flow inside them and outside of them that being said when you under, when you study these different goddesses, right, you understand different parts, then you meditate on those parts yourself and, and you actually grow them more inside of you. So one thing with me was meditating on Asar, growing my soul, you know, because Asar represents your soul. Literally inside the myth of Isis putting his body back together, that's literally just mm -hmm. you, that's literally your soul's wisdom and your spiritual intelligence putting yourself back together, making you, making you remember your soul. Remember. Literally, that's just put back together. Remember you're who you are type shit. That's what happens when you get in tune with your soul. So with that being said, I was doing that, right? And as everyone can see on my YouTube, I post about past life shit now because I got those memories now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like working with that yogic system because Egyptian philosophy is all yogic. Yoga actually comes from Egypt because yoga means to yoke back to the source. And you would do that either by studying. That's yoga of wisdom. You would yoke your thoughts back to source. You would practice devotion, yoking your emotions back to source. You would practice um, meditation, which is building your willpower and your um, concentration upon source. You have uh, a yoga of life force cultivation, you know what I'm saying, or life force cultivation yoga or, or superpower yoga. That's the Kundalini yoga stuff that's literally building up life force inside of your body and raising it to higher states. Um, and then you have yoga of action, which is literally aligning your actions back to source. So anything you do, to align back to source, that is literally yoga. And I feel like yoga is one of the best things ever because it's literally putting you back in tune with source. It's not like religion, because religion was supposed, was supposed to be like, it yokes you back to source via a three-step process of myth, ritual, and then experience. You study the myth, you know what I'm saying? You do certain rituals that make you allow to, like for example, with the with Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. You have the myth and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have the ritual of the Eucharist, where you like eat the blood, you eat the uh, the wine and the bread to symbolize his body, his his blood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a ritual to put you in tune with Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? And then from doing that, you start to have experience of what it actually means to have that consciousness, you know what I'm saying? That's how religion is supposed to be, but it got distorted now. And yeah, with yoga, it's not like that though. It's just you unify back to source. Whether you whether you're studying some shit, you're devote you're, you're you're doing devotional practices, whatever. So with that being said, yeah, yoga changed my life. And then at some point, I got all this past life shit. All the aliens just start coming through. That's where I'm at now. That shit really changed my life, bro. I'm like, oh, oh my god, this whole entire time I've been talking to aliens. <laughs> And they've been teaching me a lot of stuff. So when it comes to who I am, bro, I I consider myself. You know what I'm saying? My my truest identity is source, but as a soul, I love stuff like yoga. I love yogi philosophy. I love chess, magical stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I seek mm, yeah. to always be in tune with source and to help others get back in tune with source as well. That's my whole entire thing, to be honest. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you just kept going, going. That was just very interesting, of course. Like, <laughs> um, hey, wow, okay. Um, so you, you say, uh, that, that, um, you have had contact with, with aliens, right? Yes. So do you know which ones, uh, they are or, 
what they what they teach you yeah so but it comes with my first experiences that was orion's nowadays okay, it's a okay. bunch of things, mm -hmm. back in the day right i told it i told it on my youtube so i'll keep it very small long story short one night i had beings come inside my vessel literally they said they were mm. orion's and okay. they told me a whole bunch of stuff and at one point they said two big things was that one they were like yo text your dad that he's an et his mission is complete. He's about to die. <laughs> oh. So I literally said, "You're an ET. Your mission is complete." Mm -hmm. He died a week later. Oh, exactly wow. a week from that day, he was in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like literally, that he died. So, and then also after they told me all this stuff, right? I had to, I had to pee, and they, they wouldn't let me pee for a while. <laughs> and they said, "Okay, you can finally go outside, go pee. And you're gonna see something." And for those who are like, "Oh my God, you're peeing outside?" Yes, I am. This is <laughs> anyway. So with that being said, I go outside, bro. I'm peeing. Bro, and I just hear, I hear this loud ass noise. I look to my left, bro, this shit is a UFO. And it's not like when you're like, oh, is that a plane? Is that a UFO, <laughs> nigga. But mm -hmm. planes don't look like this, bro. This shit was a Pentagon at the back. And like, oh, the wow. triangle at the okay. front. But the triangle was made up, the triangle was made up like these two rectangles. If you look up like the, the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, mm -hmm. it's kind yeah, of yeah. in that shape. Wow. It's kind okay. of inside of that shape, but it's like the back of it is a pentagon and not a circle mm -hmm. and it's like way more thick it's not as flat and it's all black with like these orangey light bait and that shit just flew right by me bro i'm like yo what the hell and that shit was close as fuck too so ever since that day mm -hmm. which was Damn. before that this this was like a a year or two before where i'm at now i i had contact with orions and they they gave me a meditation i could always do but i never did it because i'm like to be honest Nigga, I, I don't know. I, like, even though I did, I saw the UFO and so much shit lined up, I still ain't fully trust that shit. I didn't know what the mm -hmm, fuck that mm -hmm, was, right? Okay. But then at some point, which was a few months ago, probably like seven months at this point, I started getting past, like, memories, and I would get them confirmed by my guy, King Cash. So mm -hmm, with that being mm -hmm. said, nowadays, I have portals, like, literally right now, inside the room that I'm inside of, there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven portals inside the room inside no. of right now, literally, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And... Like, some of them are for uh, Lyra, I have one for Andromeda, Arcturus, Orion, Hydra, Sirius. Contact with a lot of those beings. Mm -hmm, so, for mm -hmm. right now, okay. I've been talking to a lot of um, a lot of Andromedans, a lot of Dragons, and also Tall White Grizz, which has been really oh. cool because mm -hmm. I was in contact with them as a kid. I had to be getting those memories back. When I would, I would go there at nighttime and they would brief me about my life. Like, okay, <laughs> you have this coming up, act inside this way, don't react to mm -hmm. this thing. They would do that. And then at some point, I got contact cut off from them, mainly because it was about pretty much like... Like, it had to do with me growing in my own experience as a soul, especially because, like, when I would go to them, I wouldn't always remember it. Like, I would remember, like, oh, I went to talk to ETs, but I would still have the information inside of myself. And it would often be about stuff like, oh, like, pretty much it would be different ways that would allow me to stay high vibration. Now, the thing is, right, to experience more of my soul, I had to become lower in vibration because I have lifetimes that are low vibrational, but they gave me a lot of power. So, and also, some of those low vibrational lifetimes became high vibrational at a certain point. Like, I have an orange fertility. That shit was doing the craziest, nigga. It was wild when it came to, like, low vibrational shit. But it's also one of my best forms for healing. So it's like, it became high vibration at the same time. But anyway, I had to cut, I had to cut myself off from the tall grays because I had to experience more low vibrational stuff. And I couldn't okay. do that, get information from the tall grays. So I, I was doing that, you know what I'm saying? And then about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago. Hey, but no, about a week ago, <laughs> um... <laughs> I had I literally had these grays pull up through my portal. The now small the small ones or the the tall ones? It was um it was tall grays but not the tall white. Like it was a tall mm -hmm, yeah actually, okay. like like and his skin was gray, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yeah. And he gave me a contract for like the GFL and like pretty much it dealt the contract dealt with getting back in contact with the grays, but also it also dealt with living my lifestyle a certain kind of way, a certain mission I'm going to start having inside the future. It's like, because I would always, like, you could say I always worked for the GFL, but I would, I would always kind of say I worked with it in a way. Mm -hmm, like, it's like yeah. I was a part of it, but I wasn't fully a part of it until, like, now. The contract fully activates actually April 25th. Mm, okay. Yeah, anyway, I was getting memories of these tall grays, uh, and I'm actually talking to them now. It's like these it's, these ones are tall white grays with, like, they actually have hair, which threw me off. Like, why oh, do all grays have okay. hair? Yeah. <laughs> and then and then Cass said, yeah, they're like the uh, they're like more humanoid ones. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. That's actually a thing? And I've been, I've been learning more about their culture now. I've been talking to them a lot. They give me they give me a lot of assignments, especially when it comes to, like, different content. Because at some point in my life, I'm going to be more active inside, like, the outside world. Like, actually, like, going places, talk to people inside the mm -hmm. physical, not so much, like, making videos. So it's like right now, it's more like 
they they they, they prepare me to make certain content that people are going to need inside the future when I help them because I can't always talk one on one, but I could be no. like, hey, we talked about this. Go watch the video. Where I talk more about mm. this on your own types stuff, so I could do stuff like yeah. Uh, a lot of talk raised. Oh, and insectoid because I've been coming up a lot recently also like. I don't know about this beetle form that I had. The beetle form is really cool, especially with, with especially with like manipulating DNA and genes. It's mm -hmm. really fascinating. Yeah, and also Altorias. I'm gonna always have contact with Altorias. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say dragons, Andromedans, insectoids, tall grays, and Altorians. So I like the main mm -hmm. ones. Okay. Sometimes Syrian. Okay, that's interesting because most uh, most people have um, Arcturians. A lot of Arcturians and Andromedans, yes, but most have also Pleiadians. Um, have you? at contact with them or like none at all yeah i have i definitely have um they come they do come around sometimes mm -hmm. um there was one time i actually had a had a astral experience in side pleiades and mm -hmm. i cursed there and i got in trouble <laughs> you're like you're not allowed to speak like that i'm like what the <laughs> hell like like me saying what the hell would probably be a dono over there mm -hmm. you know? yeah I guess that's why people people be coming at me like, yo, you curse a lot. I'm like, listen, bro, <laughs> this reptilian shit get aggressive. I guess that's what it is. But mm -hmm, anyway, yeah. Pleiadians, right? Yeah, they, they come around sometimes, but it's like, I think the reason why I don't work with them is much is because I low-key, like, back in my past lives, the beginning, like, more... So if, if there's two halves, the beginning half and the end half, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. The beginning half, I didn't always like, I didn't always like them. And it was actually kind of like um a war that I kind of had with, that I didn't even want to really have. But it's like, it was during the Orion Wars where I was trying to like, pretty much I was a king there and I was literally like, I was I was making a certain genetically modified species, right? Yeah. To actually go to Draco and take over mm -hmm. Draco. Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I, was, I was doing dark shit trying to be good. <laughs> well, I should okay. say yeah. evil. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. So I was doing malevolent stuff, trying to do good stuff, trying to take over Draco. But mm -hmm. in the process, I would go to different <clears throat> places. I would, take the, I would take those beings there, take their genes, mix it with my shit mixing with my people shit and at some point it's like there was there was like i had certain people either in pleiades or near pleiades now, and all i know is that at some point right the plan was not to attack pleiades but at some point like pleiades joined this like pleiades joined the orion war and at that time it also dealt with attacking my people and it's like okay shit now it's up so it was like a back and forth which is kind of funny because one of my like closest homies right he was king of Pleiades, and it's like me and him are cool as hell now. But like, I wonder if I wonder if he's ever gonna remember what I did, and like how he's gonna feel after that. That's gonna be funny. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I've always like I, I've had certain like beef with them, so I think that's why they don't come around a lot. But I have talked to them. They talk to me a lot about like they help to orient me when it comes to being a human. I should say. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm trying to think of uh, like when when you said you go to different places take the genetic material and um combine the genetics genetics and stuff like i'm just thinking about you know how in movies um and series and even games they like to um show sh sh uh how, like real history how they work it in there and so and like how cash many times already uh says like that um that like th many times it feels like this movie is about you know your per about based off you and so i was just i i know there is there is i don't know is marvel or, or or another movie but i know there is a movie where they did this also like which could you could be based off what you did but i i don't remember yeah, i might movie. define that because mm -hmm. I, I know there is a movie like that or or at least there is a part in it's about that, but I don't know which one it was but so, i'm gonna find it i ain't gonna lie mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But so, anyways, do you have any other um, past life experiences that you know, or like past life memories that you know of? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a lot. I honestly get them every day because, <laughs> mm, okay. like, I've noticed with a lot of people, they, they're like, oh, I was gifted a memory. For mm -hmm, me, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just like, like, inside your life right now, you know, you don't get gifted a memory. You just remember what you did. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, I was in New York at some point, like, you know what I'm saying, like a few weeks ago. I just remember that. I just called that back. So it's like that with me in my, in my past like memories. You know what I'm saying? I just like sit down like, yeah, I want to learn more about this real quick. And at first, yo, I thought I was really going crazy low key, bro. Because the, the, the yeah. first stuff I was getting, mm -hmm. right? Thinking, I was like, oh, I see this white female lion. Oh, that white female. Oh, that's me. Oh, she's a princess? What the heck? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got to be tweaking. Yeah, you know I, 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 I found that a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? I talked to Cash, right? And I was like, yeah, can you see what I was like at Larry? He's like, oh yeah, um, you like this white lion? Um, your dad was a general. <laughs> Actually, I think nah, he's a, he's a general and a king. And I'm like, 
saw his princess. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you were Princess Lara, bro. I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's exactly what I was seeing. So mm-hmm, all, it has yeah. been, it's been literally most of my calls with Cass would just be me calling him <laughs> and asking for confirmation about stuff. That's literally what it would be. It got to a point where he was like, bro, just start trusting me. Like, yeah, work. For so real. I had been. Mm-hmm. So most recently, I've been getting memories about certain. Okay, so Indian Hyades was a is is a really recent one. Mm-hmm. Hyades, okay. bro. So Hyades inside there, what I would kind of do is like. I had this black obsidian dragon, mm-hmm. and also my boy Cass was there. He oh, had I've this, uh, white... seen you before. I'm sorry. Yeah, tough. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I know it's all good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, in in a dream or or a vision, I've seen you before because I didn't know who it was, but I, I think it could be you. But yeah, uh, continue. That would make sense, bro, because you're Pleiadian, and I'm gonna tell you how they how those two connect, bro. Mm-hmm. They have a very okay. Close okay. Okay. So yeah, that would make sense. And but yeah, Cass was there also as a um. He was a he was this white he was this white dragon with these sapphire crystals mm-hmm. these blue sapphire crystals and he was he would he would be an elder bear I think it's called a lot you know what I'm saying and it's like <clears throat> one thing that he would do there right pretty much you would have souls like you would have disembodied souls at that like that were like low vibrational mm-hmm. and they come to Hyades and in Hyades you would like you would pretty much kind of like teach them and help them to transmute their okay. lower energy the low vibrational energy and stuff like that you mm-hmm, know what I'm saying mm-hmm. then at some point. If they passed all that stuff, they would get sent to Pleiades, you know what I'm saying, to learn yeah. to become more lighter, how to express all their qualities positively and stuff like that, to reorient them to a new body and stuff like that, all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, Cash did more like the teaching stuff. He would like teach the different people how to let go of that stuff. And then with mm-hmm. me, I was like an overseer. So like I would like, in that form, I would oversee a whole bunch of timelines. I would see different places. I would oversee so much stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And one thing I would also do is the fact that like pretty much I would help to judge. Like I don't really like saying judge, but it's really what it was. It's literally a judging thing. I would judge like, okay, is, is this soul ready to actually move to Pleiades? Mm-hmm. If they're okay. not, you got to get yeah. taught more. And sometimes if they didn't let go of their low vibrational stuff, it's to put them to soul death. Pretty much like mm. you probably already know what that is, but yeah, I know, I, I know what. Yeah, for people who don't know, yeah, you can explain. Yeah, so for them, right? Um, pretty much the soul death is when pretty much <laughs> so your soul is an individualized focal point mm-hmm. of awareness. Yeah. Now that awareness, right, as it observes different lifetimes, it gains information. That information gives it its different thought patterns, emotions, ways of acting. It gives it its whole entire personality. So put somebody at a soul death, right? Their soul still stays alive in the sense that they still stay the same exact point of awareness. However, it's like you make, it's like you make it a clean slate. You take mm-hmm. you strip it of all of its information, all of its memories, all of its past lives, all of its personalities. You make it like a blank slate again. You know what I'm saying? That's what a soul death is. Mm, okay. So pretty much, so if certain beings couldn't transmute the lower vibrational energy, and they stayed holding on to those negative personalities, we have to kill that shit off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Make them yeah. Make slate again. So yeah, that's what Hyades was like. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. Being a lot about that. Also, lies inside different galaxies, bro, has been really fucking... I, that, this, this one's really recent, too. Um, Like, for example, the ant- this is so crazy, it's so crazy how it happened, too, because the antenna galaxy, right? So, inside the Discord, somebody sent a picture of the antenna galaxies colliding. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've before, seen that, yeah. Yeah, right? So before they sent that, Bro, I kept being told my guys, they're like, yo, um, you been to so many different galaxies, bro, start tapping mm-hmm. into them, right? And one thing that I was feeling a lot was the antennae one, you know what I'm saying? Then they sent that to the Discord right after, I'm like, hold the fuck up, that's not a coincidence <laughs> for me, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, a little more about it, right? I was seeing how, so that galaxy's not even fully formed yet, it's still kind of forming in yeah. a sense, because like, the two are colliding, and pretty much like... It's two galaxies that are colliding into one, right? Yeah. And each galaxy, right? Like, one is more light consciousness, one is more dark consciousness. Does it, when I say that, I don't mean good evil, though. I mean, like, how can I put this shit? So, because inside that galaxy, when it's fully formed, you're going to, people are going to go there to learn a lot about polarity and duality. It's going to be like a big thing there because the, the, it's literally a combination of light mm-hmm. and dark consciousness inside of one galaxy. So, what it fully forms is going to be like that. And people are going to understand, like, you're going to go there to learn about what light is, what dark is. And it's so mm-hmm. funny because that's the, big thing i've been learning literally right now like i've been i literally yesterday i was making a powerpoint about what light and dark actually is you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. i actually in my video i just made today that's gonna be uploaded it's gonna be uploaded today on patreon it's gonna be uploaded like next week on youtube Mm -hmm. inside that video i explained light and dark you know what i'm saying and it's so funny how like i know this happens all the time where i get certain information and i see how it looks in my past life stuff and it all happens at the same time it's so weird so i would see how the antenna galaxy is gonna be literally going it's gonna be like that you go there and you learn about polarity, duality, what light and dark actually mean, all that other stuff. Yeah. 
So right now when I go, I don't really go there often, but I go there sometimes to just like help it form a bit more. But I also help to like observe his timelines because I'm very connected. So with that being said, like I'll go to like the future timeline and see like, oh, did it develop properly? If it did develop properly, what fucked it up? Okay, let's not do that shit. Let's help it develop the right way. I'll do stuff like that. So I'm actually very connected with that galaxy. And then also Triangulum is a weird one because um I was seeing how like I how I move inside there and it's very weird. It's like time and space move differently there because the way that light is refracted off of mm. the different stars and stuff like that and off of different planets. So it's like the okay, so I don't even know how to explain why it's like this, but I keep seeing this one memory where like I'm walking, right? I have to really I have to really watch how I'm walking because if you step inside of a certain place, it's like it's like it's like your foot will go to the right and appear out the top the left of the galaxy. Mm. It's because of how like because of like how the lights refracted and stuff like that. I don't really mm -hmm. understand it yet, but it's super weird how movement happens. And I would go through a lot to learn about pretty much. I learned a lot about time and space there and how like how how I learned a lot about how the the way that light manifests really controls the experience that you have inside that place. So I've been learning a lot about that inside. Training. There's also this uh there's an insectoid galaxy I've been to with all insectoids. Me and Cass talked about that last night. At, um that that's, that's there's actually a lot of insectoid places. Like I think there's there might be multiple insectoid galaxies. Mm -hmm, there's a probably. Phoenix galaxy, bro. Yeah, bro. There's a Phoenix galaxy inside mm -hmm. the Phoenix constellation. They didn't know that was a freaking thing, but I have a I have two Phoenix forms. <laughs> no, I have three that I know of. I have a purple one, a blue one, and a red one, like the standard Phoenix. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All right. And yeah, man, it's it's so it's so much I've been learning about recently. I've been getting a lot of memories. Um, frog memories, bro. Being a frog, being I love the frog. Yo, being a frog being was so cool because like it was so cool to travel through time inside that form. It's like inside that form, I would travel through time to like heal different timelines. Like an example is the fact that like let's say like at some point inside the past, you had a certain family who pretty much got attacked by something or someone. And then it caused them to like have these certain negative thoughts, which made them never evolve mm -hmm. into some yeah. big scientist. Because they did become that big scientist inside the future, the cure to cancer never got fixed because mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. supposed to do that shit. Yeah. So for me, I will go back inside time and I will talk to the and family and say, "Hey, it. like it's okay. What happened?" Like I would also like I always see myself like it's like I open up something from the sky and like bring down light inside the timeline. And, like I heal the people there so they so they can actually get back on track and find that cure to cancer, whatever. Man, that's one thing I will also I would also channel information from from different timelines. Like I'll be inside Sirius, right? And it's like, I'll just be sitting it down. And I'm getting information about, like, the future of Sirius. Or I'm seeing, like, what happened inside the past when it comes to maybe, like, like let's say let's say you have certain beings attacking Sirius. I could see, like, oh, like, why did this even, like, what, like, what moment inside the past caused this fighting to even happen inside the, you know what I'm saying? And then something that could, like, go back and prevent certain stuff. Some shit you're not allowed to prevent, though, because mm -hmm. it has to happen for the purpose of yeah. evolution. So that's, that's something that, that was really hard for me to learn and stuff like that. But like yeah, I would pretty much travel through time and heal different timelines. That was like that was a really big thing with the frog form. There's some more stuff too that I'm still learning about right now. But that's like a big thing. I just I'll, I'll leave it at that because I could go on and on, bro. I get members every <laughs> single day, and that shit be like yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It just made me realize that indeed I should look into more different galaxies because as you probably have noticed with my videos and just uh, the knowledge I have about things is really based in this galaxy a little bit of andromeda but like that's basically it like i haven't really looked at other galaxies which which i should definitely do like i just never thought about um what happened or what's going on in other galaxies that's really interesting that you 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 were talking about it just now yeah bro my past lives i was really so I'm gonna bring up these two rooms called Locked and Unlocked. So, <laughs> a few months ago, right, Cass, mm -hmm. like, I kept sending him this one room called Unlocked, right? Then I found yeah. out that the locked room is the same exact room, but twisted a bit different. And then mm. when I sent him that okay. shit, right, Cass, that very same day, he went to, like, the store, mm. and he saw these pants. Mm -hmm. And on the pants, it had the Unlocked room, like, <laughs> that, like damn near. I'm like, what the hell? And he kept being told that I'm unlocked and that he's locked. And that has so many different dynamics. <clears throat> but one of them, if you spoke on yesterday, is how with the locked room, it's very focused inside the galaxy. Like mm -hmm. with Cash, Cash is inside his life, he's always been about this galaxy. Like yeah. this is his yeah. home. He defends this. You know what I'm saying? This has mm -hmm. been his thing. Mm -hmm. But with me, right, I've always been like, I've always observed other galaxies, yeah. other timelines. I've been a bit more like, mm -hmm. I've even experienced other universes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the Dragonverse is one of my favorite ones. It's a, it's, 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 it's a universe of all dragons. It's so fucking. But um, 
There's conflict there, though. And actually, dragons from that universe came inside this universe. Mm -hmm. But okay. we, can talk about, we can talk about that later if you want to. Mm -hmm. But um, We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, with me, I've always been like, I've always kind of been attached to other galaxies and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of like reliving that right now. I've noticed that, like, that's why I also have so many different past lives. I've incarnated as so many different <clears throat> beings because something with, I was very big about, like, Gaining like knowledge and understanding and like experiencing all parts of myself. You know what I'm saying? That's, that was really big. For me. And a part of doing that was experiencing the whole entire cosmos, different galaxies, and then eventually different universes. And like, yeah, because I've had I've had certain like roles as king where I was like my that was like my whole entire job. Like I just protect different realms. I protect different galaxies. I protect different. I protect timelines. It's like it's always been my shit. So yeah, that's why I'm like really drawn to that type of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, this is really interesting that you at the ability to um how do I ex say this like you know s since the very beginning once life arrived in this galaxy like since then there was a lot of trouble like constant wars and stuff like that so most beings in this galaxy were only focused on this galaxy like what's ha what's happening in here with uh with the archon draconians stuff like that but that you got the actual opportunity to go and see help other um galaxies and universes and stuff like that's really special yeah i appreciate that bro i hold that very dear to my heart bro like i'll just be looking at space bro i'm like damn that constellation right there i let it come. Oh, that galaxy i love that mm -hmm. galaxy bro like i a lot of places i really found a call home so it's because mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. library bro my home got destroyed it's like yeah it's like, I feel like I didn't have no home. So it's like any place I went to, mm -hmm. I always tried to okay. make that home. And like, I vibe, especially like, like mantis beings. Oh my God. I love them and live with us <laughs> mantis because they're, they're so connected with mm -hmm. each other. They mm -hmm. have like, they have like a hive mind, but you could separate from that at any time though, if you really want yeah. to. But like, yeah, it's so, just all these different beings are so cool. I've always loved them. Especially because my consciousness, right? It comes more from um, the dark side, which doesn't mean the evil side. Because mm -hmm. real understand. quick, I'm going to just say I'm gonna just say this for people who don't understand, yeah. right? Dark contains all things. Light expresses all things. That being said, right? If light expresses all things, that includes good and bad. If the same with the dark. If, if dark contains all things, good and bad also. So we got to use those terms different. When The reason why you have the word bad and evil is because that actually means bad and evil. If if they all meant the same shit, you wouldn't have dark, evil, mm -hmm. negative. Yeah. Because those all three mean different things. Anyway, right? I come more from the dark consciousness. And inside that consciousness, right, it's all about gaining wisdom and understanding. Like, you're very focused on what's going on inside of you, understanding yourself, gaining that wisdom. It's like you're an avian. Like, the original mm -hmm. two beings, right? Felines and avians, right? Yeah. Felines are the light ones. Avians are the dark ones. Avians aren't evil. They're just very intelligent mm -hmm. and knowledgeable. Yeah. yeah lines are very um they're very focused on like the out like they're very expressive they're, they're warriors literally they have a very a lot of love and that love makes you want to express yourself to other people mm -hmm. makes you want to serve other people makes you want to be focused on other people so with that being said being beings who are more of service to other people they definitely do like focus a lot on this galaxy because this galaxy really needs that which isn't a bad thing you know what i'm saying but with me i've always been about getting that dodge and understanding so because of that it's like in order to do that i have to go so many places you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah me coming from that dark consciousness Makes, what makes me crave knowledge and self-understanding. I always say that the light, when you master your light, you get the freedom. You get you get unlimited freedom of expression. You can express yourself in infinite ways. When you get when you master your dark side, you get the power to actually know yourself on all levels internally. Yeah, and I come more from that dark side. I want to know myself on all levels. Okay. Yeah, I'm just letting it sink in. <laughs> just is <just> not <laughs> like it's really interesting all this stuff. But I was also thinking, um, like going back to to to. The dragon. You said that dragons came from somewhere else to here, or what, what was it? Because I I know that like the the dragons in Draco, I know they left to another world or other universe, whatever. That I didn't know that there were dragons that came from another place to here. So could you explain that to me? Because that's something new for yeah, me. For, yeah, for sure, bro. So I'm not sure if all dragons come from this universe. Mm -hmm. I just know that when it comes to my past lives, right? I've got yeah. this confirmed by Cash also. Okay. It seems like a lot of, if not most of the dragons, did come from the other universe. Mm -hmm. So inside that universe, right, <clears throat> it's all dragons. And you have, there's two main classes, elemental and crystal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it kind, it kind of seems like they're both on opposite sides of the whole universe. now okay. crystal dragons form out of like these crystal lakes it's like it's like it's like the you have like a big crystal yeah. you have like the liquid form of it because it's like yeah. heated up and stuff like that so it's not fully crystallized then you would like it's like inside the lake you know 
different parts of the lake become aware of themselves and start forming themselves as a being that eventually walks outside the lake as like this as like this lizard mm-hmm. being. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. At some point, that evolves into a whole entire dragon. Now, if I showed you guys some of my crystal dragon forms, it would not be a full crystal dragon. It's actually a mix of an elemental and a crystal. Cause full crystal dragons. They look like literally okay. all crystal. I don't think they might have, they might not be able to fly. I'm not I think they can't fly. It's something <laughs> something like that where it's just very heavy. Mm-hmm, then yeah. on the other side of the elemental ones, you know what I'm saying, who far from the elements yeah. and all this other stuff. So with that being said, right, it was like it, there was at first it was very like you it couldn't you couldn't mix a air dragon with the fire dragon. You can't mix a, a amethyst crystal with a sapphire crystal. They always kept their stuff separate. Now, at some points, you did have like they just they mixed together without. It's like it's like it was illegal. People just broke the law. Much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. People were breaking the law there and stuff like that, which it would cause different conflict and stuff like that. But it was more conflict between the elementals because the crystal ones, their crystals would connect them to to like angelic realm. So like they didn't really like fall as much to more malevolent consciousnesses. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the elementals, they did. Yeah, there was to be some fuss with the crystal stuff, but not as much. But anyway, yeah, so people would mix together and stuff like that. And then it would cause all this conflict. At some point, they were like, okay, bro, let's just let this stuff happen. At first, it was just elementals mixing and stuff like that. But then elementals and crystals mixed. And then it, it, it became this whole thing of like, oh, I better because I have this crystal and this fire aspect. And you're just this puny, only mm. water aspect with no, no crystal. It started getting real like that. Mm-hmm. I better because mm-hmm. of these these abilities and all the other shit. You know what I'm saying? So at some point, they had to... um. And they made like a royal family to rule over the whole entire galaxy. I don't, okay, so I'm I'm gonna say I'm I'm gonna just say um universe, but I don't know if it's the whole universe <clears throat> or just this one planet. But it seems like this family really did rule over damn near like everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that family was my family, and that's why I'm so connected with this universe. That's why because I've no people be like, oh, like why are you always a king doing this type of stuff? You just want to be that. It's not even that. Mm-hmm. The reason why one becomes a royal soul, it's not even no shit like oh I'm better. They just happen to have a very high level of, con- of consciousness most of the time. So with that being said, if I have always had a high level of consciousness, doesn't it make sense that I would remember all this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? It would just make mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. That's why it's like I tend to be a person who brings down crazy information about a constellation, about a universe, about whatever the fuck. Because I always had that high consciousness. So I, I'm just can't get out the same here. Anyway, my family was that royal one, right? It start pretty much they they were they were made a very specific way, and it also it's funny because this dragon family it's just a physical manifestation of this seventh density celestial dragon that I have. Okay. So it's like this seven this this celestial dragon would help to like overlook and serve that dragon universe, and when pretty much when it became too much conflict, it was time for the dragon to manifest itself inside that uh, galaxy. You know what I'm saying? And then as it did, my fault, inside that universe. So as it did that, right, it manifested as first you have that black and purple dragon. And then from that form comes a white and sapphire dragon. And then from there, um, there you get um, you get a crystal air, a crystal fire, crystal water, crystal ether, crystal earth. When it comes to the black one, right? So the black one actually contains all elements mm. until the next one is made. That being the uh, the, the 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 white sapphire. Mm. At that point, at that point, the black one becomes more fire, earth, and ether, and then the blue one. The, the, the blue white one becomes um fire wind and water and then from there you get the split of the other elements inside my siblings you know what i'm saying with the fire mm. so crystal dragons that being air water fire etc you know what i'm saying so with that being said inside that inside that universe we, we pretty much like we helped to like um keep peace and balance it was okay for y'all to mix together and stuff like that it was all good for a while but then, like, certain war broke out again because during the creation of the whole um, family and stuff like that, the first mm-hmm. attempt to manifest the black dragon actually kind of went, like, wrong. Oh, okay. Which is where you get this mm-hmm. evil twin brother that I have, okay. which I think I think I know who that is inside my real life, but I'm not going to say it yet. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to put that <laughs> on somebody that don't be them. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. And if it is him, though, he's actually pretty light now. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, um, inside that galaxy, something we would do, right? Like, we would, something that my dragon would do a lot is, like, it would oversee the whole universe. And it could see, like, oh, this place has conflict. That, it's kind of like how, it's kind of like what I did in Hiatus, to be honest. That's why inside Hiatus, I took the same exact form. Mm-hmm. But anyway, okay. yeah, 
I would oversee it and be like, oh yeah, it definitely says conflict. We got to go over there. That place is warring, but they're supposed to be warring right now. So some places it's like they have conflict, but you can't actually go and mm -hmm. help them. However, my evil twin brother, it's like he was only really evil because he wanted to help everybody. So it's okay. like if he saw yeah. some shit going on and I would say, yo, we're not supposed to go over there, he would still go up there and fuck it up. Yeah. And him doing all that shit kind of started these different mm -hmm. wars okay. to the point where like, we had to actually leave. Because it was like, okay, at this point, bro, we're going to ban the whole mixing of different species. So with that being said, all these mixed dragons, the mixed elementals, mixed crystals, they all had to dip. And then it had to go back to simply being straight fire, straight air, all that shit. Now, how it is now, I'm not really sure. I should go back, but I think, I don't, hmm, don't know. Because I, I was about to say, I think they did mix now again, but I'm mm, actually not sure about that. I don't think so. I'm that's not sure. Like, it feels wrong. Right, it feels mm -hmm. this. I was like, it feels wrong when I say that. So I think they might still be separate, to be honest. And I think I, th they are. I think I think I think people could go there a lot. It, yo, yeah, I'm seeing this, and it is one, two, three. As I'm saying this, <laughs> my, my <laughs> but um, which, which symbolizes new 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 beginning shit, new mm -hmm. new information, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Pretty much, bro. It, if you want to learn about dragons and like what this elemental dragon does, what this crystal dragon does. Go to the dragon verse because a lot of dragons inside this universe are actually very mixed. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm, the yeah. mixed ones came inside this. If you want to know, like, if you want to know like, what a pure fire dragon is like, oh yeah, go to the dragon verse. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like mm -hmm. a big thing okay. from that. That being said, when we got brought in, we had Antarians bring us in, and one place we went to was Hydra. We were in Hydra a lot. Like, there's a lot of dragons inside Hydra, especially crystal dragons. Then the more elemental based ones, they went to Draco. So you would have mm -hmm. some pure ones, or like they'll be like mainly pure. But then they have like a hint of some other shit inside there, which is why I see a lot of like I be seeing all these fucking multicolored dragons. I'm like, oh yeah, y'all are dragon for fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So when we first got on Hydra, it's like our job is to like rule over Hydra, kind of. It, we kind of ruled that in the same exact way as like the dragon. We which is over. It, it said we were, it said we're not overseeing dragons. We're overseeing other species, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. at some point, at so, I think because I think the the evil twin got brought inside this one. And he might have actually okay. caused some of the Draco shit when it comes to at some point the Draco it came to Hydra mm -hmm. because they they already they were they were already in Draco and they saw the dragons there. They found out that they came from Hydra, that they had crystal dragons. So then they went to Hydra. Now before they came to Hydra, my my black dragon form, right? Which is funny because at this period of time, my black dragon form is really just my dragon dad and I'm the earth dragon. But at some point, <laughs> I got this, what you call a Hydra Crystal Flame, you could call it, pretty much at some point. Actually, this, this is perfect timing. So, my dragon <laughs> dad, who was also me at the same time, yeah. he saw all this shit happen before it happened. He kind of knew, like, okay, this is actually necessary. So, at this mm -hmm. point, right, all of us dragons, we have dragon flames. Now, for those who don't know, a dragon flame is pretty much simply just a dragon's life force that gives them a certain kind of a power. So... Pretty much all of us, we we gave all of our dragon flames to the dragon mom. Which created one big flame. Okay. The Hydra Crystal Flame. You could call it a Celestial Dragon mm -hmm. Flame. Whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? So when I, when, I, when I got that flame at some point, fuck, millions of years later inside the future, that's how I became all the dragons. Now, now I could become my, my dragon brother, my dragon dad, dragon whatever the fuck. So with that being said, yeah. When the Draco came, by the time the Draco actually arrived, we had already gave our flames to the dragon mom. And then pretty much our sim me and my siblings got taken as slaves, and so did the dad. So okay. it was only the mom who, who stayed inside Hydra. Mm -hmm. And at this same period of time, though, it's so crazy because at the same time that I'm this earth dragon that eventually becomes the, the dragon dad and the whole family, at the same time I'm the earth dragon, right? I'm also a reptilian. And the reason why is because mm. since I came from a different <clears throat> universe, right? Yeah. You see... Since our since our soul is so vast, right? Part of your consciousness clearly mm -hmm. beats yeah, out of a yeah. different universe right now. You know what I'm saying? And then when it gets brought inside this one, it's like you getting brought inside this universe. You know what I'm saying? And the and the thing is, at some point, right, with that with that dragon, the the Earth one, right? It's a, it's an Earthen amateur. That, that dragon was enslaved. It broke out of slavery, went to Orion, and then took over this planet in Orion. Now me, I was in Orion. And that's and that planet that got taken over was actually was actually my people that one. They were they were my people, but then I went to jail and stuff like that. I went to alien jail and all the other shit. But then when I came out of alien jail, I saw that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? They got taken over by this fucking dragon. So I pretty much ate the dragon. Mm -hmm. and when I ate the dragon, I merged with his consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why okay. I, that's why I was meant to eat the dragon because it was already me type shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's kind of that's life just brought together type shit. You know? But um, yeah. 
So with that being said, yeah, long story short, the dragons from the Dragonverse came inside this universe because inside the other universe, it was banned to have the mixed dragons after they already tried to experiment with that shit. So all the mixed ones came inside this one and they um it pretty much spread all over. Oh, and also with the dragons ascending, right? Inside Draco and some of the ones inside Hydra, right? At some point, they ascended to the angelic plane inside Alpha Centauri, which is where I started seeing these one forms. I, dragons actually have a well, not all of them, but some dragons actually have a like my my dragon mom. I could turn into her now, and also cast looks like my dragon mom also, which is fucking wild. But anyway, <laughs> when it when it comes to that that white sapphire dragon shit, right? Mm -hmm. Her human form looks like it looks like a white girl, right? With like she has like this crystal tiara, and she has like these crystal horns. She has a human face and a human body. It's so I ain't gonna lie, she look good. You know what I'm saying? And then I actually have a human form. It's like it's it's a Nordic form, but like these blue crystal dreads. It's super mm. cool. And that happened pretty much when the dragons ascended to Alpha Centauri. So they ascended to a whole different angelic realm. Like pretty much, if you if you went to Alpha Centauri inside the third realm, you wouldn't really see shit. But if you went to inside the fifth realm, you see all these dragons, all these fucking humanoid forms, and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, that's kind of the, that's a small history about the dragons. They came from a different universe because they got kicked out of there. Then they, they, they pretty much seated themselves, mainly inside Hydra and Draco. Then at some point, with all the fighting going on, they're like, oh, okay, we're just going to fucking go to fucking Alpha Centauri. They also went to, like, actually, my, so, because, like I said, like, our soul is, like, super duper vast. My different siblings could still be seen as living in certain places. Like my fire dragon brother is currently inside of Andromeda. But it's funny because at nighttime, I could like become him and learn what he's learning. And at any period of time, I could just sit down, have it to that dragon and just know its information. So it's like, it's still me, but not me. Like, like it's, it's me as a soul, but not me as a personality type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, you said that you often, yeah, you, you oversee stuff, but you also, like, if, if there's some place that need help, you go there and help. How exactly do you do that? How exactly do you help um, wherever help is needed? Um, okay, sometimes it'll be like fighting the different beings. Mm -hmm. Mainly it'll be fighting or teaching. Okay. That's like the biggest thing. And so, how do I phrase this? Like the uh, the fight, is it like when when you fight, is it like with, with um, like, like seeing the movies, dragons spitting fire and stuff and like that? Or how, how do you fight as a dragon that makes right, sense so um yeah, it definitely does all right so uh one big thing would be like uh, my dragon my especially the black one would eat people because like when it eats a person it could like transmute as negative energy and stuff like that so mm, like okay. it would do that a lot yeah. but also like you would you can see it like uh one big thing is like i just i'm just big as shit and i just fight out I just, I, I just i'm big as shit and i i fly up in the air and i come down just crush everybody you know what i'm saying that's one mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm. Um, there is um, you not all dragons spit fire. Cause I don't, I don't really, I don't really see my black dragon form spitting fire much to fight, but it does spit fire out when it's like, cause it has this purple flame, which is really good for transmitting uh, energy and stuff like that. So like, it will like, it will like breathe or some shit and transmute that, but it won't necessarily fight with it. But some dragons do fight with breathing out their fucking mouth. That is a um. And then other times it's like we would go there, and like I might take like mo I might take like more of a human form. So it's like I could be like I'd be like this Nordic with like purple hair or, or like a Nordic with sapphire hair, and I'm just fucking slice, I'm just slicing shit with a sword, kind of fighting like a Lyra. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking cutting shit up or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or like if I go like if I go Alpha Draco and not fully Dragon, I like go there like a big thing with me is like is like clawing people, like go up to them and just you just claw the fuck out. Like you could like literally like claw somebody's body and it's like you it's like you're like opening up the window like opening up the curtains it's like that you know what i'm saying about somebody's chest you know what i'm saying that bitch opening yeah that's one thing ripping off heads is a big thing oh and also magic too because my dragon form is really good at magic so like mm -hmm. sometimes it's like i could just like with my with that purple etheric flame it could it's also good at like controlling all the elements so like if a person's running up at me type shit i could just like move my hand a certain kind of way and like distort elements inside their body and they just like they just moving they just like mm, pretty much okay, I, could, like, yeah. I could like break somebody's arm type shit mm. just using my fucking hand okay. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah okay so so you um you wanna you you know man oh my god sorry <laughs> english <clears throat> you manipulate uh, the the atoms like in in the way you want it you you mean or yes definitely yep uh -huh. okay so 
uh, we we have been talking a lot of um about past life memories or just experience stuff like that. How would you like for people who want also to um, discover what they did in their past lives and stuff like that? How do you recommend? that they uh, start on this. First few things is that I do have a PowerPoint on my Patreon where I talk about this. However, I'm gonna teach that as a class inside the Discord also. Mm -hmm. So some okay. of y'all yeah. either, you might wanna join that Patreon or this Discord, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but aside from that, a big thing is to sing what you're drawn to. Like when I was 15, getting into the spirituality and stuff like that, I heard about aliens, I heard about Lyrans, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. And I'm like, yo, I really vibe with that, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't tap in because I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, favorite animal is a lion. So, like, of course, <laughs> I'm going to think that, you know what I'm saying? But I was also, yeah. by the way, a tourist in Orion. And, like, the first time I, the first, so pretty much what made me want to fully tap in is that years later after I'm 15, I hop on the phone, no, I hop on Instagram, right? And Cash is live, and pretty much he's doing these readings. And now, I never even watched Cash's lives. I didn't know he was psychic. I didn't watch his content all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, I yeah. just followed because I'm like, yo, he said some true stuff. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm, I joined. Yeah, yeah. And like, I'm like, yo, he's giving readings. I'm gonna ask for one. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> but you're uh, you're Lyran or Ryan and Altorian. I'm like, what the heck? I was thinking all three of those. So it's like I was always drawn to those. So mm -hmm. it's just like if you just look up certain stuff, like yo, what am I drawn to? That's the biggest way to find out. Like nowadays, bro, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna, this goes have a bit I'm so G with this shit, bro. I just looked <laughs> it up. Like okay, different constellation. I'm like, oh yeah, this one. I was definitely there. I, I feel this. Mm -hmm. I can just close my eyes. I can, it gets to the point where it's like y'all may not always be able to like see certain stuff, but like I've learned over time that like your feelings can help to make a picture. I call it empathic sight. It's kind of like let's say like let's say there's a let's say you have a ghost in front of you, right? There's a, there's a there's a ghost and stuff like that, right? Or not? Let me see just an invisible person. Yeah. Let's say some. Somebody is invisible right in front of you, right? Mm -hmm. They use a paint, paint. Okay. You can like see yeah, the outline yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So with the feelings, it's like it's like it's like you're throwing it's like you're throwing paint on some invisible shit, and it makes an image. Mm -hmm. So, like with the library shit, I, at first I just felt white and I felt red. Then I saw this white and red. So with me, it's like I just feel certain places. I just start seeing stuff. Or a big one for me also is clear cognizance. I just know. I just feel it, and I'm like, oh yeah, there mm -hmm. I did this. Yeah. I was this, and I did that. That's a big thing with me. And yeah, so even though even so starting off, you may, and the thing is, oh, let me say this too. And the thing is, right, one could say, oh, you're just making this shit up at this. Nah, because I'll send it, I'll send it to my boy. Like, yo, you see this constellation, bro? What happened over? Oh, yeah, you were doing this. You did that. Exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, cool. So anyway, right, some you could find out off the rip, be like, oh, yeah, I know that I did this there and that there. You could at least feel that you're connected to that. I have a friend. She is very connected with Orion because she's been to Orion. She loved Orion. And inside this life, she loves it now. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know you're in Orion, right? You know you're what you were there before, right? You love that place. You know that, right? She's like, damn, I don't make some sense. I'm like, yeah. That's why you feel that connection. So if you if there's a, if you love a certain star, bro, you've probably been there. Let's be mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. we, we remember things based off a of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. when you want to recall a memory from five years old, right? Most memories are gonna be either super duper exciting or super duper traumatizing. Because mm -hmm. you remember yes. based off the feeling a lot. Yeah. It's a big thing. So just feel into this type of stuff and you just start being like, hmm, okay, it feels like I like this. Hmm, it kind of feels like why do I feel why do I feel king? Or mm, why do I feel fighting? Why do I feel this love healing vibe? Like as you as you learn how to just feel certain vibes out, it makes more sense. Something I do often, right? I'll just say certain words. I'll just feel what it feels like. That helps to build your. I call it your energetic data bank. You know what I'm saying? Because like oftentimes, right? If it, when it comes to when it comes to an alien talking to you, right? Most aliens are not actually using words. They're sending you a certain frequency, and then your brain mm -hmm. interprets that yes. shit as a word. So with that being said, if you get good with just being like, oh, I say this word, and it feels like this, you'll start knowing what this information presented to you is actually trying to say. You'll know if a being is talking to you. You'll know that, like, oh, when I feel this feeling, it means king, so I must have been a king there. When I feel this, it means fighting, so I must have been a fighter there. Like, you'll just be able to feel these things. So definitely just looking up certain stuff and feeling how it feels inside of yourself. Mm -hmm. for a fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This took me a long time. Like, it was just only this year. Oh, no, yeah, previous year. You, you get what I mean. Like, just very recently, I discovered my... Because at the age of six, I had my awakening. And from the age of six, I knew that I was from the Pleiades. Like, I was told I was from there and I had all the characteristics, stuff like that. So, I knew I was from the Pleiades. And this, my whole life until now, I've been out from the Pleiades, I'm from the Pleiades, Pleiades, Pleiades. But I didn't know more than that and then i did um with macklin that are reading for me I said oh yeah you were lyran and you were 
also draconian and stuff and i was like hey, what i hope the i thought i thought like i i i didn't until recently i didn't know you could be more things than just you know i thought yeah, i'm playing so i've always been playing just just know no, recently true. i realized sure. like and and i've i've learned i mean i'm a i'm a on areas like this i'm a quick learner so i learned by now fairly quick on um how to tap into memories and stuff like that which before i i didn't definitely feel what you're saying on there bro mm -hmm. that, was, that was one thing with me too i'm like why do i feel connections i i would feel connections so many places and i'm like bro how can i be all these you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. there's only two yeah. said lyran yeah. altura and orion i'm like oh, it could be multiple holy shit that makes sense <laughs> yeah i think like you said something um earlier i don't know how you said it and i, I was thinking like yes this this is um well, we're thinking you are crazy stuff like that because um that's the that's the thing like you have to trust yourself like say some things might sound so crazy like oh you are this amazing warrior or you are this this king you know it's you you easily can think like this is just my ego talking like oh being a king being in a great war you know just my ego but you really have to yep. trust on your feeling like it doesn't because because a great warrior or a king it, up, up there is not the same meaning as we have here like in here a, a king and stuff like that we see us you mostly see it as as a, a tyrant you could say but like in those uh in those places it's not like it's it's someone who who has a lot of friends responsibility can handle the responsibility someone who is the most connected or the most um what's it called um uh you said it you, you said it when you were explaining it you said it but i don't remember the word what was the word um I did in tune uh yeah yeah like that the most I advanced kind of a thing mm. that is definitely very true because like yeah like so, like for example king of, i love being king of serious right because that that was what i feel bro being a serious as well it was so like you just feel everybody and it's not like here where it's like oh you do what the king says mm -hmm. it's like yeah, no no king thinks about what everybody else mm -hmm, wants it's mm -hmm, like you listen mm -hmm. to everybody you're like yeah what do y'all want you know what yeah. i'm saying and then from there you have to make you have to make a, a really you have to make a this, yeah you have to make a the very decisions important decision. yeah. yeah you have to make a very important decision like okay bro everybody wants this what do i actually enact inside the civilization mm -hmm. and it's always yeah. about the people it's not about yourself and what yeah. you want I, of course you're gonna have your own opinion but it's like you don't just be like oh yeah it's only me what i say you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like one one big thing i say is that in, things like being a ruler you yeah ruler on earth it's like it's, for yourself what was best for yourself up there is what's best for everyone else for the for the species yeah you're more of a leader when it comes to the outer mm -hmm. space stuff yeah because ruling is like yeah i control you guys i'll do what i say mm -hmm. leading is saying oh yeah, yeah i have this ability yeah how about y'all come with me become the same kind of way mm -hmm. for sure the same kind of power you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah and then there was something else you said oh yeah about trusting yourself that was really important i I, I love you said that because I've noticed with me, like, I could have always tapped in. I always had this stuff mm -hmm. popping up inside of my life for years. You know same, what I'm saying? But I same. just never want, I didn't want to, I didn't want to seem, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just didn't want to seem crazy. I didn't want to be wrong. That was the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. It was, bro. I know. When I saw, when Cass said what he said, and then all the fact that he was followed by Gaia, I'm like, hold up. If this guy is followed by Gaia, he's getting all this information. Why can't I do the same exact thing? I'm tapping in. I'm tapping in for real now. <laughs> like, it was when I decided to say, I'm going to tap in and trust myself. That's when it happened. It, was, it wasn't like, it wasn't like OD random. Like, I have had some random experiences but actually getting memories mm -hmm. i would never just like i never was just gifted it just like oh yeah here you go like no nah, i actually like just tap in for myself to get that i have to trust myself it's mm -hmm. a very important thing yeah a lot of y'all it's not it's not that you don't have the ability you're just not you're just scared to be wrong that's what it really is yes exactly this is what i had also like it's the same thing like if i ask for memory i get the memory but I, I just didn't realize it before, you know, because you think it's just fantasy, you think it's just, you know, your own fantasy or, or your ego that wants this, but it's actually true, like, it's actually what happens. Maybe it's not always um, in a literal way, but most of the times it is, at least for me. I know what you're saying, bro, yeah, you could definitely have sometimes where it's like, you'll see something and it's like, for symbolic to literal, but it's still like, like, for example, let's say like you were an angel, right? And you see yourself mm -hmm. looking like the typical angel. Yeah. Now you do yeah. have yeah. angels <laughs> that look like the typical angel, mm -hmm. but not all of them look like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like for example, I have an angelic form that looks like it, 
It doesn't really even have a form. It's made of sacred geometry and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? When I was first trying to tap in, I actually kept on seeing wings. But it didn't feel like I had wings. Then I then I kept seeing deeper and actually saw the true form. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um mm-hmm. yeah, that's a that's that, that's that's really big for a fact. But yeah, and also like if you guys hear this video, bro, come to the Discord because there's mm-hmm. several people yes, can help you yes, with this type yes, of stuff. Yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We could all help you, bro. On top of that, especially also understanding galactic history, which is bro, Andy, bro, you you put in you put in work with that, bro. <laughs> like for real, yes, bro. You're you really the goat for that shit, bro. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. I swear to God. Right. I've been reading your shit like, yo, this is, this is, like, bro, I'll be, I'll be tapping into some shit, right? Like, then that, that shit, I read your shit. You got all that shit inside there? What the heck? <laughs> and more? Like, what the, like, bro, you be, you be doing your thing, bro. So, yeah, it's mm-hmm. very important because, mm-hmm. yes. like, one, one, sometimes you'll get memories. It'll be like, what the heck? You will see it somewhere else. Or it'll just simply be like, bro, like, when you understand the timeline, you could be like, oh, hold up. When he, t- when he mm-hmm. talks about yes. this timeline, this point of the timeline, I feel like I was there also, or mm-hmm. I was yes, somewhere else, yes, and I was yes, doing yes. this. For you sure. know, it gives you way more clarity mm-hmm. because you get the info. Pretty much all this information starts off as non-physical. There's no words for it. It's all vibration. Yeah. But then it becomes different words. It becomes different concepts. So oftentimes, you're trying to find out something, but you don't got the words for that shit. You don't got the concept for it. When you study the history, you get the concept. You get the words. You understand mm-hmm. it way more. Yep. So I recommend that study galactic history as well. That's very important. Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure. Like it's something I've wanted to do for a long time to put to to um put everything in a timeline, which is what I'm doing right now with my uh video series. Like I've I've had comments on the on the videos, like people saying that you see like someone talks about this, and then another person talks about this, and then another person talks about this, but no one gives you the full timeline perspective to understand like what happened. When did it happen? So that's that's what I'm doing or trying to create right now. The the uh, timelines so people can understand. And you doing it? You doing a damn good job, bro. For real, bro. You be killing it with that. Shit. If, if, bro, if y'all haven't watched this, bro, y'all gotta watch it. <laughs> you gotta watch it. It's not the Discord. You put a document for it. Oh my yeah, god, bro. I put this, document man, this man's got it all, bro. Mm-hmm. I play with my man. It's go. I mean, the document isn't finished yet. It says it says it's, it's a full story. It's, it says it's finished, but it's not finished yet. Like there are still, I I learn every day too. Okay, so and the, these are stuff I'm I'm going to put in there also. But right now, um, I'm focusing on other things. Like I have a lot of different things that I'm wanting to do and stuff like that. So you feel you on that, bro? Mm-hmm. So I did have another question, but I don't <laughs> remember what the question was. Maybe that happens, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what in, could you explain? What to you um, does ascension mean? Like we often talk about going from three D or four D to five D. How do you see this? What is your perspective on this? I love talking about this. Mm-hmm. All right, ascension, right? Mm-hmm. Mainly, when people talk about it, it deals with consciousness. Now, the thing is, you can't actually ascend your body to higher realms. Don't be yeah, yeah. I'll get to that mm-hmm. later, but. It mainly mean with conscious ascension is simply becoming more aware as what it really is. Like, for example, inside the 4D, right? You could explain it in so many different ways. But one does, I'm going to just say this like cut straight forward. Let's just say call it the mental. Inside that, inside that realm, inside that density, it's like you're trying to understand more about creation, but you don't fully understand it. That's why there's still like a good and bad inside there because it's like it's it's becoming more aware of like oh there's more stuff to test than test to what i see because inside the 3d it's, it's really based upon what you see and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. animals right mm-hmm. they, they see stuff and they act off it you know what yeah, i'm saying they yeah, can't yeah, think yeah. deeper about it you know humans can think deeper about that you're able to actually that's, it mm-hmm. gives you the ability to actually think and expand your thought process and understand a bit more but you don't fully understand inside the 4d yet Inside the five, do you actually understand? And with that understanding, you let go of malevolence because it's like you don't want to cause harm because you understand why certain shit happened. So with that being said, it's growing in your understanding. Inside the six, do you understand how stuff is even created? So it's like inside the five, D. okay, inside the four, D, you're trying to find out why things. Inside the five, D, you know why it happened. Inside the six, you're like, okay, here's how it got created. Inside the seventh, it's the people who told Inside the seventh, it's the people who told the beings inside the sixth what to create. Inside mm-hmm. the yeah. eighth is okay. the over inside the eighth is the overseers of creation. Mm-hmm. Inside the ninth, you have the whole plan of the universe. Inside the tenth, you can say you have the Godhead. Because people people keep about people people with that. people could talk about either nine realms or twelve realms. I, I'll accept both. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because if, if you go if you talk about the ninth, 
to end it there, that's like, okay, you have to play the creation or the other shit is cool as it. But above that, you have the Godhead. Now, some people, some people don't consider the Godhead to be like a part of the whole realm shit, but I could explain later why it would be, but also why I could, I could, I could argue for both, to be honest. And when it comes to people, hold on, let me just say this little side piece. When it comes to freaking debating, if I go was right or wrong, bro. It's all perspective. You could make mm -hmm. you could make yes. some bullshit it's like mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. It's some truth. It's like some bullshit. So it's like yeah, I could argue for both sides. Either way though, right? Let's say you're going. Go, let's say you're going go twelve realms. Inside the tenth, you have the Godhead. Inside the eleventh, it's like the it's like pure dualistic energy. So it's like how I put this. So it's like you could have. Let me say what, what the twelfth realm is actually. The twelfth realm is pure awareness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's go from twelve down. Inside the twelfth of pure awareness, right? At pure awareness becomes aware of itself, which gives it this dualistic uh thing. You have mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. the observer yeah. what's being observed. So that duality starts off inside the eleventh. Have that pure awareness inside the. You have the duality inside the eleventh, and then that duality. It's like you have, imagine you have pure yin and then pure yang inside the 11. Yep. And the 10 is yin and yang together as mm -hmm, the godhead mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that unifies both uh, light and dark and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how that whole entire thing goes. So the the more you raise your understanding, you actually just ascend in consciousness. Now on a body level, you can do that, which do, you do need to have a high consciousness because, for example, in order to become immortal, you need certain knowledge. You need certain uh, willpower also. You need to know how to do it and actually put that shit into action. You can't do that without a high consciousness because, like, if you don't understand how to ascend, you your body at least you can't ascend your body but yeah as you ascend in consciousness you become more aware of like holy shit like i'm not just the body i'm a soul i am energy and the more high you get with that you're like shit well since i'm not the fucking body how do i be how do i build the immortal body or some talus immortal shit? like because even me saying that people will be like what that's that's possible you this man's crazy you could you could think that but when you hit Certain levels of consciousness you understand, you can actually do that. And Taoists have been teaching that for a grip. Egyptians t taught that for a grip. Even the Hindus taught that for a grip. So, yeah, it's about it's about it's about becoming more aware, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. Like my dad actually had an interesting perspective on it. I love to hear it, but I don't know what it, it's 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 a simple it's a simple one, but I, I don't know exactly how it went. But like, given an example that like. Um, the difference between 3D slash 4D consciousness and 5D is that people in 3D and 4D like um, mm, how do no I'm gonna I'm gonna take another example because I was thinking like how people would react to this so I'm I'm just gonna take um, another example because that one I don't think is a good example so like if people who 3D like they um they 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 are more concerned about, you know, their, um, what's it called? There's a name for it. Um, like, one thing, one thing stuff, or, uh, um, I don't know what the name is. Like, for people, you know, they see, um, they focus on their, on their money and on their material. That are, okay, yeah, so, okay, that's it. Like, materialistic. Like, 3D is more materialistic like um how much money uh, keeping an eye on how much money you get how much taxes you you must pay and like um what are, what am i gonna get what am i gonna buy and then like you have you have people who are more in 5d that aren't concerned to that at all and are just like just enjoying life and not stressing about it. that's that's the perspective perspective my dad had on it yeah i definitely agree with that yeah, because how how could you stress it five D to understand why this shit's happening? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, people like like if you because I still I talk about this all the time. I call it moving through gates of life. Mm -hmm. People try to get certain places, but like, they haven't completed what they're going through right now. Whether that be that person you're dating, whether that be that job that you have, whether that mm -hmm. be that thing you're supposed to create. Yeah. Like you have something that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. You know what I'm saying? And until you move to that gate of life, you're not gonna get to where you want to be at. The thing is, in 5D, you understand what those gates are. You'll be like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. this happens right yeah. now because I'm trying. I'm supposed to be doing this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So why would you stress over that? You know? Yeah. But if you're only caught up at face value and what you see, you're like, oh my god, this is happening. I I, I got to panic because all mm -hmm. I see is mm -hmm. shit going bad. Yeah. But really, it's not even going bad. Like destruction is not always bad. You know what I'm saying? But you could see it as bad if you want if you're if you're holding on to the creation that's being destroyed. However, some destruction is being like, hey, we're we are gonna remove this and bring you some better shit. So mm -hmm. in five you can actually see that. In three D yeah. you can't. You can't mm -hmm. you can only see it to, you you can't see until you actually get back a whole like you you can't see until you actually get the whole new thing yep. back. Exactly. That's the reason why you lost them. Okay, so, um let them see. We have been okay, it's been an hour and 
almost an hour and a half, so I'm going to end it here, if you don't mind. Ah, yes, because cool, cool. because I still have to eat and the stuff like that, but <laughs> there's no problem. But no, yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you for coming on. Thank you for wanting to be here. Um, is there anything else you like to say? before we end it or i always every time somebody asks me that i always say love you everybody mm -hmm. here love yourself yeah you know what i'm saying especially whether, whether you're like exactly. yeah bro because even if you don't even if you don't always get memories or like you don't have all these abilities and stuff like that love mm -hmm. yourself is the mm -hmm. most important because mm -hmm. people, people have abilities without no love you do the most horrible shit ever yeah. you know what i'm saying so love yeah. yourself is the most exactly. important mm -hmm. and thank you for having me on this platform bro like, this was a great talk you asked some great questions it was great conversation with you bro i love being here. Mm -hmm. thank you just a question. Would you like to do this again? I hope so. Heck yeah. Sometime soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was great. No, okay, yeah. Thanks. So thanks for being here. Uh I hope I see you soon. Yeah, same bro. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm.